Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Virtuaverse. And thanks to this antique spacesuit, Nathan has found his way on board Xenon Station, guys. But we have ran into a wall, literally and figuratively, but it's a wall that we can't see. Um, when we docked to the main station, we encountered a robot who was very freaked out about what was going on in this room. And we went up this tunnel and saw a really cool view of Earth, but when we tried to head down, there's something blocking the passage, and that's a very satisfying thunk. So I guess we need to go ahead and contact Jay and Ramirez and see what exactly is going on here. Base, this is Nathan. Solid copy. This is Base. There's something invisible here. What? What do you mean? I mean, I hit something when I was walking around. Well, actually, Nathan's floating around, but whatever. It was... squishy. Sounded pretty solid to me. Alright, alright, keep calm. Are you telling me you ran into something physical, but it's not visible? Yes, exactly. I can feel it, but I can't see it. Listen to me. Do you still have that AVR drawing device with you? Yeah. What do you have in mind? What you describe seems like what we do with our AVR graffiti. I suspect Xenon is hiding reality behind a permanent reality layer. Okay. Now try to use the AVR tool on the environment after you enable its erase mode. With a bit of luck, you'll see, see the real deal. Yeah, good idea. That's cool, I didn't even think about that, because remember Nathan got an AVR chip inserted into him, so now he doesn't have a choice about seeing the augmented reality. And with all the holograms and spam and everything, it would make sense that you'd be able to hide things too. That's cool. So what exactly is blocking our way? Let's see. Better move carefully here. Yo! Oh no. I can't believe it. A giant heart! Alright, we have gone into Contra territory fairly quickly here. Um... A giant heart. And it was here all the time. Crazy how it's perfectly hidden with AVR activated. I... Oh, that's not what I expected. So... What's blocking the... Ugh. The veins are blocking the passage. And it looks like there's actually veins going up to where we were. Can we use this thing on other parts of the station? Okay. Looks like everything is not what it seemed. So what about our view of Earth? Is it going to be covered in phalanges or some such? Stained glass? Uh, what's that in the middle? Looks like a throne. We find Palpatine's secret snack chamber? What is this? Looks like the station commander's chair. Oh god, what have we done? Great. I don't know the names of any former crew members. I don't want to try brute force or any random things. 
If this thing locks down by itself after enough attempts, I'm done for good. Well, there... Oh, you know, there was that astronaut who had the name tag in the museum. That's the only, like, former member of the crew. We couldn't see it, though, because it was, like, too small. Okay, this definitely changes things. Um... Can we call Ramirez and Jay and let them know about our current, uh... Our current situation? Cause... Yeah. Things have definitely taken a turn. It's actually less Contra and more Metroid. Especially with this music. Bass? This is Nathan. Solid copy. This is Bass. There is a fucking giant heart in the station. Shit. It appears to be connected to the station's hardware. Well, this must be new. There's no record of anything like this. Like biotech. We didn't expect to stumble on any weird shit like this. Yeah, but don't panic. We'll figure it out. We need to understand what this heart is for. Uh, I'll take a look around. I'll call back soon. That's crazy. Xenon has been cloaking the whole station for who knows how long. All anyone sees is the original version of it, but it's been modified and turned into some crazy horror show. Well, now I'm curious if any of this stuff changes when we use the... Hold on. Maybe over here. Maybe we just have the heart and the tentacles there. Okay, laptop, laptop. Photos don't change. Laptop, laptop. Locker. Did we see this the first time? The door is perfectly flush, so I can't open it. Looks like it's a magnetic door. Um. Well, we have a perfectly good handle right here. Oh, we can't use that. That's weird. Wait, do we have to turn the paint feature off? There it goes. Yeah, it worked. We had a handle on the situation. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! Sorry. This is a tool that helps with soldering. What was it soldering helping hand? Even it had a lens mounted on it. I don't think this would be useful here. All the hardware here is SMD. Maybe there's some really old stuff hanging around here somewhere. We do have all of this old stuff that we got from the museum. Nope. Sound card. Ancient GPU. Well, that didn't work. Um, do we have any other, like, old tech? <laughs> the old mobile phone? Hey! And the power glove, technically. Can we augment the power glove? What are you thinking? I don't know, Nathan. I'm just trying to figure it out. We found a giant heart here. Let's check and see what else is going on here with the station. You too? Yep. You too. Some of the station's original hardware. Probably some sort of diagnostic panel, but nothing is moving or blinking. 
Okay, what about over here? Same thing. People, where they still slept. Where's our uh, robot friend? Did he just hightail it outside? I think we need to head back to the museum anyway, so let's see if we can. Because we did do the evacuation protocols and may not let us back. And we also have these other areas to explore too. Um here, let's let's check and see what else we got here. Let's see if I can discover what's happening here. Some giant veins are blocking this door. So the entire station is covered in this stuff. It is like weird biotech. Like, um, Axiom Verge. How about this one? Is this one vein free? There's a warning. Locked for quarantine. Yeah. So, I'm curious what this means. Does this mean that Xenon may be, like, an alien? They've d Either they've done some sort of biotech, or there was, like, an alien that's taken over the station, and he's it's got its phalanges all throughout the Virtuaverse. Like, what is going on? Did not expect this. I thought we were doing some typical Matrix stuff. Alright, so far so good. Um But now Wait. Oh, we can't use the drawing tool in this part of the station. Hmm. Alrighty. Travel agency ad. Just want to see if anything has changed. The root of all evil is there. Evil, veiny roots. Just don't want to know what that thing is just floating around the red thing. This might be a can or something. So let's see can figure out this guy's name. He was holding his helmet with pride. I think it's this guy. He's wearing a suit like the one here. I wonder if it's even the same. He has a badge with his name on it. But it's too small. I can't read it. So... Maybe the mobile phone? I think I'm on the wrong track. Like, zoom in kind of thing. Um. Wait, the soldering has a magnifying glass. He has a badge with a name. Ivankov Zakharovich. I wonder if this guy is a former crew member of the station. Um, I may need to write that down. Hold on one second here. I don't necessarily trust the game to <laughs> do that for me. So let me go ahead and write that down. Okay, what is the name? I've got it written. Got a pen in. Ivankov. Zakharovich. And my pen doesn't work. Great. I've been cold. I actually am writing this on my hand, since paper seems to be elusive to me right now. Alright, 
This is bowling shoe ugly, but hopefully it's enough to do what we need. Now, if Nathan decides to go ahead and put that in automatically, I'll be quite happy. Slightly annoyed, but happy. Well, hopefully those missiles are probably going to do a lot more for us than we originally thought. Up. Okay, do we have to put our spacesuit back on? There we go. Holy crap. So, I wonder where these other modules take us, because this is the bridge. But I'm hoping that maybe using the chair will get us past the heart somehow. I guess that would make sense. There's really nowhere else to go unless it opens up other sections of the station. Maybe we can drop the uh, quarantine. Up we go. I'm surprised that Nathan didn't just float into the command chair. Like he did the uh, heart. It's alright though. Load up. Now am I gonna have to type it in? Hmm. I'm just thinking. Maybe I can try the name of the astronaut that was seen in the museum. Oh, God bless you, game. Oh, holy crap. Okay. Door control. Um. Unavailable. Primary GPU. DS94. So we can't switch anything of that. Looks like it's pointed right in the middle of the alleged Atlantic. Like there's North America, South America slash Antarctica. It's kind of a, a weird hybrid. Now I see this over here. Use server room door switch. Error. Botanical area door switch. So that might be the area that was closed off for quarantine, like I thought. And we can close the bridge door too. I don't think that would be particularly smart of us right now. Um, let's see if that's enough. It's gonna get us access to a new area. Hopefully the heart doesn't mind. Last thing we want is to be ripped apart by something we can't see. I'm, I'm kind of curious that we couldn't hear the <laughs> of the heart itself. That would have been creepy. Of course, we, we're, that's under the assumption that it's pumping blood. Okay. New area. So we've got plants. This plant looks strange. I've never seen anything like this. Even in plastic. Can't okay, see anything else. Ooh, red plant. It looks totally different than the other ones. We have grabbed it. What about you? Nope. Doesn't look like anything you've seen before. Alright. I'm kind of 
dare we? Oh god! Carnivorous plant. This bad girl reminds me of something from a horror movie. <laughs> Feed me, Seymour! This plant looks strange. Yeah, well... Hold on, I want to get another... Look-see here. Everything's all alien now, so we're not exactly sure what's what. Can we paint over here? Oh, there's more. Mushrooms. Mushrooms! Definitely not edible. Can we grab one, though? We're grabbing all the flora, aren't we? Okay, um, what else can we interact with? Jellyfish? They're frozen and floating because there's no gravity. Creepy. Same thing. Some still fish suspended in their resin graveyard. Well, that's creepier than anything else that we saw. Okay. Sorry, that thing right there is bugging me. I think because it's 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 so different than everything else. Isolated plants. Three different plants in separate environments. I think this is for research purposes. For science, you understand. What else do we have here? Hey, it's our buddy. Now, I really do want to see what you look like. Apparently he doesn't look like anything. He's just Zaman. Alright, well, we'll talk to you here in a second, friend. There's some Sado pseudo-code written here. I don't really understand it. At the beginning it's very detailed, but by the end it looks like a random generator. Assigning different states to objects. The code is deliberately messy. Oh. Wait. There's a note below. Include... Hashtag, <laughs> or pound include brain H... Altered library. I think this could be related to the modified firmware. The Cypher Master was talking about. I don't know much about chemistry. But it looks like this thing is for mixing liquids. I need a syringe to extract the fluid. Chemical machinery. It's discharging a green liquid into two different containers. I wonder how long this has been sitting for. I don't know how to use it. Okay, Zaman. He doesn't look evil at all. Zaman, where have you been? I've been looking for you. I'm sorry, I was so scared. That giant heart made my emotional algorithm freak out. I've been hiding for a while to get my system back together. However, I've calculated there's no immediate danger. Apart from its horrible appearance, this organism doesn't seem like a threat. Then I noticed you opened the lab and came here to run some tests. Um... Uh, do you have any idea what's going on here? Seems like the whole station has been mutating into a biomechanical organism based on a mix of carbon and silicone. I've been tracking samples and came here to analyze them. This is nuts. Have, have you run any tests? Yes, I have been collecting samples. My first results indicate the AI controlling the station 
had access to the lab and mutated into some form of chimera. It sourced DNA from somewhere and became self-aware more than it was supposed to. Ugh. This doesn't look like a simple AI. What do you think? Yes, it doesn't look like a simple AI. It's much more than that. The emotional algorithms are far more complex than mine. Actually, this isn't supposed to exist at all. Appears the AI has gone rogue. It's wild. I wouldn't say it's gone rogue. I haven't noticed any aggressive behavior. There doesn't seem to be any evil plot going on here. It's all in good faith. It's for the good of the human race. Oh? On Earth, reality is being systematically replaced. We have to stop this. Yes, I agree, and that's exactly what's happening here. It looks like a safety measure, to make reality look more comfortable. The AI has determined that humans are not ready for this yet. Hmm. So can we just keep on running down these? It's good faith or not, everyone is becoming alienated and that's sick. I know, and I understand now. The AI doesn't seem to be aware of the risk. Probably because it's here at this station, too. Hmm. All that aside, what's going on is really mankind's own fault. No one is forcing anyone to do anything. And the environment isn't collapsing on its own, either. I've looked at the logs, and the AI has attempted to find a solution several times. But at some point, the AI must have determined that we passed the point of no return. That's cheery. We have to stop this. The situation on Earth is dire. At first it appeared everything was going smoothly, but I found a log entry dated a year after the new AI was installed. Somebody activated something called Protocol VV777. I've been trying to find more information about it. I checked some data, and it's linked to some experiments banned years ago. What kind of experiments? Biomechanical integration. Brain interfaces. This kind of research was outlawed several years ago. But that was just the official story. Protocol VV777. What's that? I have no idea. That's all I've been able to find out about it. It appears to be related to giving AI full administrative access, including this laboratory and the genetic engineering tools. I, I don't care. We've got to kill this thing for good, and I need your help. I've been trying to find out this organism's basic mechanics. My best guess is the new carbon-based CPU architecture has evolved, sourcing DNA and merging it with GMO. Are there any weak points in this whole thing? This whole organism is fueled by a biological compound that was originally synthesized right here in this lab. So, what can we make of this? The whole system is well integrated and stable. But a high dose of that drug could eventually make it unstable. Are you seriously blaming this on a GMO? Well, it stands for Genetically Modified Organism. I'm not talking about canned food. Okay, sourcing DNA from where? There aren't any humans around here. I don't know. There's likely more we don't know. 
but there's no other explanation. Okay, anyway, let's get back to the main topic. Zayman, I need your help reaching the server room. Let me compute. There may just be a way. The veins are blocking it, and I can't, can't unlock the door from the control room. The whole system is fueled by a biocompound. In theory, a high dose could accelerate the heartbeat. But I can't be sure this will be enough for what you need. You'll probably need to make the system more unstable. And here's the catch. When injecting the drug, there's a high risk of information overload. Considering how close you are to the source, it could be potentially fry your brain. Is there any way to bypass that data stream? No, but there's an easier way. You can just get your chip removed. How? I just don't happen to have the time to go back to Earth, you know? No worries. You can use the surgeon bot right here. Oh god. How can I activate the surgeon bot? It's fully automated. You just go in, select the program, and you're all set. Is it painful? Not at all. Everything takes place at a molecular level. In layman's terms, it works pretty much like a very complex microwave. You don't even need to undress to use it. The aesthetic, do the anesthetic does the rest of the job anyway. Sounds interesting. Maybe I should just get this shit out of my head. That would be advisable. As long as you're connected, there's always a chance the AI could detect your movement. At the moment, it's very busy with the mess created by the DDoS attack. But you never know. Yeah, that's right. I don't need this chip anymore anyway. What should I do to synthesize this drug? I made an inventory check, and the good news is, you should be able to find everything you need around here. And you can use the distillery to synthesize the drug. It seems like all of the organism's other variants around here have been disappearing during the hybridization process. Oh, that's great. Finally some luck. Just watch out for the Venus flytrap. It's a heavily modified version. Damn, I was talking too fast. It's just a plant. It's not going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. <laughs> Bye for now. Okay, Zaymon was very helpful there, so... Step one, get chip removed from brain. Step two, synthesize drug. Step three, inject it in the heart, get down to the server room, and we'll see where we go from there. <laughs> so uh, we, we have our battle plan, guys. So we are going to go ahead and end it here, and we will pick it up next time. Like I said, I don't know how many more episodes we have of this. We still have quite a few steps to go, but um, things have definitely shifted tone, and I like it. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone. <laughs>